So guys, it's not going to be a two minute uh, talk today. This is a much longer one. It's going to probably be about 20 minutes. So pause it, go get yourself uh, a cup of tea and a cup of coffee and a couple of biscuits or croissant or something. I'm going to start this off by saying that all the people in this that I mentioned will be in the description. I will put links to websites, contact details and things on those lines. My first thing I have to do is say thank you to Paul Nozzo labarbera.co.uk he's um, helped me out massively for this video and for the course that the video is about um, I'm a medically discharged veteran and uh, I've had a lot of help from uh, an organisation or charity shall I say called uh, East Sussex Veterans Hub again that'll be in there uh, and part of the thing that I've done is because shaving to me has become quite a big thing. Whilst I was in the army, shaving was, yeah, you had to shave and you did everything you could to get away from shaving. And when I left the army for a year exactly, I didn't shave once. It wasn't pretty. Um, but yeah, but I've now got back into it and with the quality of the stuff that I'm getting now, it's absolutely beautiful stuff. Chatting to Paul Nozzo, I've bought quite a few things off of him. Um, he is... In the UK, about a shadow of a doubt, the best person for Palazzo products. And uh, he's, he's incredible. Um, and what he's done is he's actually supplied five kits for um, members of the uh, East Sussex Veterans Hub. Uh, they haven't received all of them yet. One of them's gone out. I've then bought, or I already had some of the bits, but the stuff that I didn't have, I've been out and bought myself. So I've got a matching set that I've paid for myself. Um, and I'm just going to run through what it is, and this is for the Sussex Veteran Hub members, as well as the rest of the world to see. Because I'm going to go into detail. I'm going to go, sorry, I don't know what that was. I'm going to go into detail uh, about everything, how to use everything, and how to shave. Um, and I'm teaching you how to shave when you've been in the army for 10, 15, 20 years. Some of you probably started shaving before I was born. But this is just a little bit different and it will just take you somewhere very, very nice for a little 12 minutes a day. So, I'm going to start off with the uh, equipment. I've got a lovely Amiga brush. It's a ball brush. Um, I suggest washing it with um, shampoo twice and then using a conditioner after to soften it all up. It's, it's nice and stringy, it's got a good backbone. Don't know where the speaker is on this, but I'm using the iPad. It's a lovely brush. Um, I didn't think much to start with until I tried it. As soon as I tried it, I was like, wow. Because uh, this is about what, 15 pound give take. I use something that's 10 times the price. This is much softer. However, to tell the truth, this is incredible. Um, and so, if we brush, the other thing that he sent was some Lord Vases. I admit, again, I was like, yeah, it, it's less than ten pound. It, it's a little three piece. What's it going to be like? And honestly, it's stunning. And I'm going to use a good old astral blades. These are the blades I suggest to every new shaver to buy. They're £8 for 100 I know a lot of people that load it on a Monday morning, use it for the week, change it on a Sunday night, uh, clean the razor on a Sunday night and then start again Monday morning and not clean the razor for a week properly. I suggest cleaning it fully after every shave. I only use these for four shaves at a time, but people are getting seven, eight or even ten out of them. So if you look at it with one blade per week and you get 100 for £8, pounds, that's two years shaving for 10 quid, or 8 quid. Then again, as I said, Paul's brilliant for Palazzo. As you can see, this is my old tube. This isn't one that Paul sent. But Palazzo Red, it's one of my favourites. It's sort of the top three. And the red cream is incredible. And the cream with this brush have worked so well. Uh, I didn't think they'd work as well as they did. Obviously, I've done this shave a couple of times before. I've not been happy with it. Probably won't be happy with this one, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Then he sent some Prazo Blue. Again, this is my own one. Well, in fact, this is one that I bought for myself. My wife decided that she liked it. So it's not very often I get to use that one. Um, then there's a few other things. There's a 
the palm olive uh, shave sticks, which uh, I'm not going to use today, but they're in there. They were from somebody else, one of the uh, members of one of the forms that I'm on. Paul also sent Illume blocks, the Asana blocks. Um, they are all cracked or damaged or anything like that. That's, that's a lot of this stuff, you know, some of the stuff didn't have packaging, some of it was slightly crumpled like the some of the tubes were sort of screwed up and bent, and that's why we managed to get through the duality. Instead of a loom, I use these, which is still a loom, but comes in a nice twist off container. Uh, and it's much easier to use than the uh, little blocks, so I might need that later, I don't know, because I'm actually going to shave here. My sink ends about there, so I'm kind of leaning over like this to get over the uh, basin. And uh, also the camera's here, but for me to look I'm here, so I don't know how the angle's going to work with the shaving. Okay, let's get on with the shave. So as you've seen, we've got the razor, we've got the brush, we've got the cream. We've got the blades, we've got the bar. All we're going to need is a flannel. You can see why that's done at the end. Okay, so the first thing to do, get the tap running at the temperature you like. I don't know. Now fill the basin. I've got the brush dripping. As you can see, it's over my sink, so I'm not getting the floor wet while I'm doing this. So I'll wet the brush, squeeze it out. It's not dripping wet, but it is very wet. If I was to shake it, I don't know if you can see that, I can see it, but then I stand up there to let it just soak and relax in a bit. Now put the water on my face. Put the towel on my waist. I have got shorts on underneath, just in case something does drastically go wrong. So dry off my hands, hand dry the face a little bit, and what that's doing is just getting the moisture in there, it's getting the hydration into the skin. I'm actually going to do it again with some talking, so obviously this is going to take me a little longer. Okay, so now I've got that into the skin, I'm going to get the brush and the cream, a bit like toothpaste. Uh, there we are. Squeeze a bit into the top. Might be a little bit too much, but you can't really have too much. You can have too little, and if it is too little, just put a bit more on. And then there. Okay, and I just sat in the brush, just out of the sink for two minutes. Then you get your razor, and when you're doing these three piece razors, lay them on the palm of your hand and turn the handle. For the simple reason, that if, you if you go too hard and they slip, if you've got any hands like this, you slip, you're going to cut your fingers. So, open it up, unscrew it, take the handle off. It's a base plate, that's the top piece. For the razors, they come in a box with an envelope. The envelope has one, well, it has four edges, obviously, that fold into the back. When I open it, First thing I do is tear off one of the edges straight away, and that's then how I came that I've had four shaves with that blade. So obviously the next shave that one come off, then that one come off, and then I've only got one flap left, which is still enough to cover the blade and protect it. I know that's my last shave with it. So when you're handling these blades, hold them on the edges. Get the top piece, slot it in. Yeah, there we are. Get the base plate, place it on. First couple of threads, and palm of the hand. That's nice, set and ready. What I'm going to do with this now is just soak it in the water just to warm it up and relax it through a bit. Again, because I'm instructing, my face is dried up a bit. So we get that wet again. Now, most people know that you get the irritation on the neck. In the jaw. So, if you brush, massage it in that area. It's very strange using this iPad as a mirror. Okay, as you can see, you get a lava 
quite quick. And just get it all over the face. I always go against the grain just because I find that that traps more of the air. The top lip, my hair grows out to the side. It does on most people and I don't realise it. So, that's against the grain on the lip. Same on the chin. Then, left hand to tidy up. Just because in your right hand, you're going to have a razor in a minute. And funny enough, it's razor sharp. Okay, so the brush goes down the side of the sink. The razor is warming for a little bit. Double edge, so one side on one side, flick it over, other side on the other side. Easy as that. So line up the side then, put it stretched, and down you come. Nice long steady strokes. Now the difference between one of these and a uh, modern razor with a bendy head is you control the angle in this. So your mat threes and fusions and everything else are like a push bike with stabilizers. This is like getting your first proper mountain bike. When you do it, the angle you need is about 30 degrees. If you come down here, in the camera, there you, are. you can see that the blades just and just touch my skin. If you go up here, up to 45 degrees, that will probably remove this tattoo. So, about 30 degrees, you go along. And if you listen, it's actually taken the hair off my arm. Don't have much hair on my arm anyway, but it's taken it off. So, as you saw, did one on one side there. A little tiny cut. That was because I was lining up, was the left one there. Okay, then we're going to go across here. Across the other side. Touch it up a little bit. Then under the chin, I'm going to show it in the middle. Down each side, flip it over. Finish off the corners. Okay, that's taken quite a bit off already. The first pass is just to quickly remove most of the stubble. Again, hands up, wet the face. Because I've taken a bit longer than normal, I'm going to add a little bit of water to the brush because it's dried out a little bit. On a normal 17 minute shave it wouldn't, but I'm already up to 14 minutes. Sorry, normal 12 minute shave it wouldn't. 17 minutes is how long I did this yesterday. But I was talking like Roger Rabbit or something very, very quick like this to try and get it all done in time. I've just been stung by a wasp. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually quite sore. So now, we're going to do the exact reverse of what we've just done. So I'm going to start here. And what I've done is I've brought the angle in a little bit. Okay, then you see the other side to do that here. And if you watch, when I'm doing everything, when I'm taking the strokes, I'm putting the razor in, I'm putting the hand behind the razor, and putting the skin tight. As you can see, I've got a few little weepy bits here, and that's because I've had a wasp flying around disturbing me. But that's good because I'll show you what to do with them later. 
So again, it's quite difficult to see it here. Needs a mirror up here actually. Okay, so some everything apart from the top lip. From the top lip. Same again. And as you can see, we've got a few little blood spots. I think it was accidentally on purpose things. I'm going to have to open this window and let the wasp out, I think. Hang on. Hmm. Got him. <laughs> he won't be stinging anybody else, will he? Right. So, how's that? We're all stinging everything. Again, wet the hands. Wash the face. It's a shower. Wet the face. And then the magical third lather. What this is going to do now is soak into your skin a bit, relax, help the skin relax, stop any burning, redness, and anything else. And it also helps stem the bleeding of any cuts or spots. Okay, so once you've done that, the next stage is to wash your brush. Right, now up to the 17 minute mark. Blend the wasp. Okay, so you see there, a little flick. A lot of people say don't flick. I give it a squeeze, I give it a bit of a flick. I even do it on the towel. Good job I've got shorts on. Okay, so I do a bit of everything to just dry it out, keep it dry, keep it nice. Okay, then I pass it a little bit just to give it a nice bit of shape. That goes inside, that's nice finish with. Okay, now I use cold water, empty the sink out, put the basin empty. And I always give it a little wipe down as well. Right, I won't touch drained. Then that brushes away. The next thing you've got is a vaser. So again, on the hand, this way don't tighten them up, dead tight. As long as it's moving about, it's tight enough. Take the base plate, take out the razor. With hot water, so the water is coming down like that, do it on that side, turn it round and over, do it on that side. Using your dry flannel, place it on top, fold it over. Pass it dry, take it out. Then get your little wallet, little envelope even, put it over the plate in. So now I've got a blade disposal tin, and the bottom of that blade, I have a magnet. So the blade that I'm using is stuck to the bottom of the tin. What's the thing did I? And true start. I'm going to leave that in the edit, I think. Okay, so I've now half filling the basin with cold water. Putting this flannel in as well. Rinse off the parts, so that's the top part there. Rinse it off, dry it off. You can use the hot water or the cold water as long as it's rinsed, dried, and cleaned. Put it back together, and although I said these razors are only about well, they're less than 10 pound, I've seen these types of razors that are 100 years old, and they still work. I've actually got the oldest one I think I've got is 1930s, I still use it today. So, as you can see, any mistakes are showing through. Wasting desert. You've now got the funnel in the water. 
looks like you squeeze like right? so it's still wet but it's no longer dripping put it to one side squash your face off okay so when I, whilst that's been uh, soaking in that third lava it's uh, pretty much stopped the bleeding. Take your flower, fold it into half like a bandana, and go for on. Just press it on. And what's that then doing? It's the cold water. It's closing up all the pores, stopping the bleeding. And it also feels very refreshing and nice. Okay. Put this on the dryer. Here we go. So, take a look. Don't really need to use the loom, but I'll use the loom anyway to demonstrate. So, all you do with the loom, cold water, have the tap running, run it under the water, get your face wet, rub it on. If you feel this thing a bit like there, Hold it for a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's where I caught myself earlier. Just rub the loom over your face. It does sting a little bit. Nothing like that wasp in the back of my arm, though. Okay, then when you finish. Mince it off, use your hands to wipe it off a bit, just to make sure there's no stuff on there. Then I uh, dry it off in the towel, put it back away. That's done. Then, just with your hands, rub it in a little bit. Dry hand. Rub it in a little bit. Flowers are blue. Hand. and then it's got it rubbed in on top of it all. Okay, lovely sweet apple scent. I'm going to put a bit of this on the wash thing to see if that's going to help at all, but as you can see it's quite sore. It's cooling it down, it feels quite nicer. Anyway, so as you can see I've packed everything away, everything's been shaved. The base is nice and clean and dry, all the equipment is away and tidy. Again, this is for East Sussex Veterans Hub predominantly. Anybody else that wants to know how to use a safety razor, as you've seen, you have a brilliant shave with a five pound razor. Uh, again, thank you Paul Nozzo, you have been fabulous in this. The amount of equipment you sent us and what you've done for this charity and my sort of idea of the charity has been amazing. So, we're up to nearly 24 minutes, which is all blamed on that wasp. <laughs> and I'm going to keep this one. This is the one I'm going to post, so I'm quite happy with it. I've cut myself a couple of times, bleeding stopped, even got stung by a wasp. That's not happened before. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.